universe is a mighty big place, kid. It's so big that we have to use a special unit of measurement to talk about the distances between objects in space. We use the distance that light travels through space in one year. For three points, what is this unit of measurement called? Light year, that's right, three points. Now, for seven points, kid, how far is a light year? One billion miles, one trillion miles, or about six trillion miles? About six trillion. About six trillion miles, right again, seven more points. Now, here's our home galaxy, the Milky Way. For six more points, about how far is it, in light years, from one edge of the galaxy to the other? 10,000 light years or 100,000 light years? 10,000. Oh, sorry, kid. 10,000 is the wrong answer. The Milky Way measures 100,000 light years from edge to edge. Don't take it too hard, kid. You got the rest of them right for 10 points. And that's not too shabby in anybody's book. Looks like something interesting going on in Sector 7 Alpha Delta. Better check it out, kid. The space shuttles are often used to carry objects into space, so they have a large cargo compartment. For six points, which of these familiar objects would just about fit into the shuttle's cargo hold? An automobile, a school bus, or a house? School bus. A school bus, absolutely right. Six points, kid. The shuttles have launched quite a few of these communications devices into orbit. For four points, what are they called? Satellites, correct, four more points. These shuttles can stay in space for quite a while. For three points, kid, can you tell me about how long they're designed to stay in continuous orbit? Seven days, 14 days, or 21 days? 21. Oh, I'm sorry, kid, 21 days was the wrong answer. The shuttles are designed to stay in orbit about 14 days. You'll have to settle for 10 points today. 